Hello again, it's Miss Cat from the Wood County District Public Library. I already took a video reading aloud from Joyful Noise Poems for Two Voices. This is by Paul Fleischman. Uh, as you can see, he won the Newberry in 1989 for this book. The drawings are by Eric Beddoes. There's some really nice illustrations of insects. And I'd like to thank Harper Collins again for uh, permission to, to use this book. Now, this book is available as an ebook. Uh, you just need your library card and you can get it from the Ohio Digital Library or from Hoopla. Both have this as an ebook for you to do at home. In my first video, I explained how there are two columns in each poem because there are two voices uh, are supposed to read these poems together. Sometimes both voices go together, sometimes just one goes and they alternate. <clears throat> so what I did in my first video was record it with a, uh, asking for your help to do it with me. And I read aloud in the me column and then you are supposed to read aloud in the you column. So I thought I would do another video with myself watching myself to show you what it'll sound like so that you have a better idea of how cool this really is, these poems. So we're going to do this poem together. Um, and you're gonna, you're gonna see me doing it, the you column, so that you know what, what you would be saying if you were to pull up the initial video and do it with me, okay? Let's start. Water striders. One, two, three. Whenever, Whenever we're asked if, if we, we walk, walk upon water, water we answer, of course. To be sure. It's quite true. <clears throat> when, oh, we'll start again with one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. Whenever we're asked if we walk on it often, we answer, uh, quite often, each day, all day through. Should we be questioned on whether it's easy, we answer, quite easy, a snap. It's a cinch. Should we be told that it's surely a miracle, we reply, balderdash, rubbish, nonsense. Whenever we're asked, for instructions, we always say, come to the pond's edge and do as we do. Oh, next page. All right, on the count of three, you're going to start us off on this one. Ready? One, two, three. Put down one foot. And then put down another. Resting upon the thin film on the surface believe me there's no call at all to be nervous as long as you're reasonably mindful that you but by, by that time I'm our not. student no matter how prudent has, has usually don't ask me why sunk from view wasn't that so cool Hi, i love this book so much Again, I hope you can get the ebook and do this with somebody in your house. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the other awesome poems in this book. So we did Water Striders, which is one of the, the beginner ones. Another beginner one is Grasshoppers. It's actually the very first one. In Grasshoppers, it introduces you for a couple lines where both people are talking at the same time but saying different things. So it kind of sounds like when you're doing two rounds of row, row, row your boat. So you're saying the same thing, but you're uh, a line off. So it sounds really cool. Uh, there's mayflies, fireflies. They're all, they're all bugs in this book. So cool. Uh, book lice. We have the moth's serenade. That's pretty cool. A serenade is like a love song. So she's talking about the porch light. As you know, moths are attracted to those porch lights. 
Water Boatman is another really cool one. It's kind of an intermediate. Both people are saying stroke together and it has a really solid beat. So that's a good one to practice with. So both will say stroke and then somebody has another line and then they both say stroke. And then the second person has a line and they both say stroke and it goes back and forth. So there's a really good uh, parallel going on in that poem. The Digger Wasp. Cicadas. That's definitely going to be timely in August. So if you want to pull this back up in August and sing about cicadas while you're outside listening to cicadas, that'd be cool. Honeybees is a really neat one. One of the columns is the worker bee and the other column is the queen bee. So when they speak together, they're about to start talking about the same type of thing for their daily activities. Um, such as what it's like to be a bee or what time of the day it is for their activities. But then when they're alternating, the worker bee is complaining about all the work he does. And the queen bee is talking about what a joy it is to be a bee because she has nothing to do, really. And it's awesome for her. So it really gets two very individual voices going. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. And then if you'd like a, a challenge... Whirligig Beetles is really, really awesome. As you can see, there's a lot more text and it has a bit of a faster rhythm to it. So it really gets going back and forth. So when you get uh, some practice under your belt from the earlier poems, Whirligig Beetles would be really fun to do. And then we've got some praying mantises and Requiem. House crickets, we're getting close to the fall here. Chrysalis diary, the whole book really kind of goes through the, the spring, summer, and fall, and uh, how, how insects live their lives through those seasons. So it's, it's a really cool book um, to go front to back because it travels through time that way. And as you can see here, we see the chrysalis wintering over. for the next spring. So it's, again, it is such a cool book. I really hope you can find this and enjoy it as much as me. Again, it's an ebook and uh, you just go to our website, wcdpl.org if you need uh, to get connected for the, the ebook copy. Thanks, bye.